Thank you to Bloomin for sponsoring. More on them later. I have a fun summertime video for you today, sharing an easy to make kids craft, some slow living inspiration, and my summer reading list. Today on the Daily Connoisseur. Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm the author of Connoisseur Kids, Etiquette, Manners, and Living Well for Parents and Their Little Ones. This is a great time to pick up my book and give your kids some fun, enriching activities to do this summer. Today on the channel, I'm going to share an easy craft with you that I've been enjoying with my kids. I saw this rotating doll cup on the Creative Child Instagram account, which I'll link down below. All you'll need are some sturdy paper cups, an X-Acto knife, colored pencils, and a regular pencil. Let's begin. Take one cup and with your pencil, outline the shape of a person. I'm making it a very basic keyhole type shape, but you can make this as intricate as you like. Then taking the X-Acto knife, cut out the shape carefully. If you have smaller children, you'll need to help them with this step. Once the shape for the person is cut out, place another cup on the inside. You're going to use this now as a template to draw different characters on the inside cup. This is where you and your kids can let your artistry shine. Experiment with different faces, different outfits, whatever you want to personalize your characters. Once you finish one character, scoot the inside cup to the left or right until you have another blank space. You should be able to get four to five characters per cup. Then it's time to decorate the outside of the cup. I like to use wallpaper-like patterns, but you can do whatever you like. And don't forget to decorate the lid too. Here's the doll cup that I made. And here are a few that my kids made themselves. This craft is so easy and fun to do and provides lots of entertainment. You can keep the cups too and play with them as well, so the fun can last as long as you want it to. I'll leave all the materials I used for this linked down below. If you try out the craft, let me know how it turns out. And now, while I close down the pool area after a blissfully slow day, I wanted to share some quotes on slow living that have given me some food for thought. I've been thinking a lot about slow living lately and why it's become such a desirable trend. Mahatma Gandhi said, there is more to life than increasing its speed. Hmm. Ah, this is a good one. Moko Koma Mokanoana said, Being in a hurry does not slow down time. Ah, that is so true as well. And finally, Carlo Petrini said, Being slow means that you can control the rhythms of your own life. You decide how fast you have to go in any given context. If today I want to go fast, I go fast. If tomorrow I want to go slow, I go slow. What we are fighting for is the right to determine our own tempos. 
Now, I love that quote because I have different seasons of wanting to go slow and and going fast. Like the end of spring for me, that was really fast with all of the, you know, the kids' activities. But now in the summer, to recover from that, it's slow. So I, I really appreciate that quote for when we can't have slow living every day of the year. This has given me much to ponder. And now before I share my book reading list, I'd like to thank Blue Mean for sponsoring today's video. I love Blue Mean. It's like supercharged gua sha for your face. As you age, of course, jowls can form and the skin on the face can be less toned. So Blue Mean uses microcurrent to tone, tighten, decrease puffiness, and improve product penetration with whatever skincare you use. It tones the jawline and it can even reduce a double chin. Bloomin uses microcurrent therapy, which are low-grade electrical currents that mimic the body's natural ionic flow. Microcurrent promotes collagen and elastin production as well, two key structural proteins which are essential for keeping the skin firm and supple, giving it a youthful glow. I definitely noticed tighter skin from just three minutes three times a week. I love Bloomin. Normally $150 with the link in the description box, it's $70 off. Plus you get a free ebook called Face Tightening Secrets, but it's only for the first 100 people. Every few weeks, Bloomin activates the link and it always sells out. The best part is if you don't see results, you don't need to pay. So thank you so much to Bloomin for sponsoring today's video. I hope that you are enjoying the video so far. I wanted to end on giving you my summer book recommendations and what I've been reading myself. So I'm always reading a few books at a time. I'm always listening to an audio book and I'm also reading, you know, a, a physical book. And I just finished the audio version of Captive of the Labyrinth, Sarah L. Winchester, Heiress to the Rifle Fortune, and it's by Mary Jo Ignafo. And I just finished this. The read time for this book is 10 hours and 40 minutes. Okay, so I've always been interested in Sarah Winchester, who, there's a house in California and they call it the Winchester Mystery House and I've been there before. I've always had an obsession with it. It's a really long, rambling, very large Victorian house with a lot of architectural oddities like stairways that lead to nowhere, doors that open to, you know, two-story drops. And I visited the Winchester house as a teenager, have had a lifelong interest in it. And then, you know, I was like, I really want to learn more about Sarah Winchester herself because the stories they tell you, I feel like are very fabricated and sensational. Anyway, this biography was so good. It was by Mary Jo Ignafo and it dispelled a lot of the rumors about Sarah Winchester. Um, so if you are, love biographies, it's a really interesting one. I would like to go back to the Winchester Mystery House now that I've read this and visited it again. I think my kids would love it. So I finished that book, that was really good. And there's, you know, a hardcover available, but I also just listened to it on Audible. And then I am going to be reading an Agatha Christie this summer. I've actually read all of them, including this one, <laughs> but it's been a long time since I've read this one. This is Three Act Tragedy, and it's a Hercule Poirot novel, but you know what character makes an appearance in this is Mr. Satterthwaite. And I love Mr. Satterthwaite because he is the star of the Mysterious Mr. Quinn series by Agatha Christie, which is one of my favorite short story series by her. So I, I'm like a big Agatha Christie nerd. I've read all of them. <laughs> I'm obsessed with almost every series. So this has both Mr. Satterthwaite and Hercule Poirot in it. And I'm rereading this because I'm going to be traveling and I want to bring something light and frothy and I love mysteries. So three act tragedy is one that i'm going to be reading this summer and for those of you who are unfamiliar with agatha christie let me just read the back you kind of get an idea of of what she's like act one 14 guests have arrived for a lavish feast at sir charles cartwright's handsome estate overlooking the sea among those assembled is the estimable sleuth hercule poirot estimable is a very hard word to say act two the local rector partakes of a pre-dinner cocktail and promptly drops to the floor quite dead, but his martini glass bears traces of only that, an excellent and very dry martini. Act three. If a poison did the rector in, then what was it that had been poisoned? 
who's next, and just who in the Lou Mouth manner is turning an intimate dinner party into a ghastly crime scene. Leave it to Poirot to bring down the final curtain. <laughs> Okay, so only people who love mysteries will get this, but I just have loved mysteries since I was a little girl. I just love them. And she's the best because they're not gruesome. It's more about like the solving of the puzzle and then the nuances and the lifestyle like that she captures here. So anyway, can't wait to reread React Tragedy. And then this book is going to have to wait until after my travels because it's quite heavy and it's big so i'm not going to be putting this in my suitcase but this is the edwardian lady the story of edith holden author of country diary of an edwardian lady which we explored in a previous video it's like i kind of like doing these deep dives on people like with sarah winchester i enjoy her house so i wanted to know more about her and then for Edith Holden, I love her diary, The Country Diary of the Edwardian Lady. And I heard a few things about her life that were so surprising, especially, you know, the way in which she passed was very surprising to me. And I want to know more about her life. So some of you recommended this book. It's an older book, but I got it on Amazon. I, I was able to find it used and it just has some minor damage to it. But it, it's a really neat book with pictures. There's even some postcards here and just lots of you know graphic images. And I really look forward to learning about Edith Holden's life. I find honestly that the most interesting books I read are biographies. I just love reading about a real person's life. And it's so interesting to look at so many years later. And I especially love Victorian biographies, obviously with Sarah Winchester and um, the Edwardian lady. So I'm obviously going to be reading a lot more this summer too, but I just wanted to share those uh, books with you right now. And if you have any recommendations, I would love to read them in the comment section. Finally, I invite you to read the latest issue of Victoria. This is the July, August edition. So it will be on your newsstands. This cover is like the prettiest cover I've ever seen from Victoria. My writer in residence essay talks about the art of the handwritten letter and it's just a wonderful, beautiful issue. I hope that you're able to pick it up and read my essay. And thank you so much for all of your support. Also, I almost forgot to tell you that Nikki from Inspired by Nikki put out a book called Lady of the House Inspirations, volume one. There she is. And I have not had the pleasure of reading it yet, but it is her thoughts on Lady of the House life that's like a series that she does on her YouTube channel so uh, it's so pretty and everything she produces is so beautiful um, so anyway I'm gonna leave Nikki's book down below I'd like to thank Bloomin for sponsoring today's video normally $150 with the link in the description box it's $70 off plus you can get a free ebook called face tightening secrets thank you for watching today everyone keep calm and remain classy and I'll see you in the next video Goodbye.